what is up y'all we are back at it with another one today's video we are wrapping my duckbill spoiler um something different it is carbon fiber and <clears throat> i've liked it but i don't know if i've mentioned this in previous videos but i'm changing the entire wrap of my car um and then i've got some black accents that i'm doing so Let's, uh, yeah, let's see what we're wrapping it in. Now, my goal is to wrap this wing in one piece, okay? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy by any means. Um, with this kind of angle both ways, um, I'm just, it's not going to be easy, okay? My goal is to wrap it in one piece. Now, the title of this video will tell you if I was successful doing that. Um, but we're going to give it a try, okay? Now, let's check out what we've got, what the film we've got to wrap. We're wrapping this whole car in tech wrap. Um, I've yet to use tech wrap, so I'm pretty excited. But let's see what we got. Now, this is going to be the accent, okay? I'm not going to show you the color of the car yet. But this is going to be the accent. It is shadow black camo. You can kind of see how the camo kind of comes and goes. It's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird. It's kind of cool. So what we're doing is I got like 10 feet of this. We're going to do the wing the roof and I'm thinking maybe the mirrors but I'm definitely thinking like um, these pieces right here so so yeah that's that um, but anyway like I said I'm going to attempt to wrap this in one piece I think I can do it but I've never used this film it's tech wrap um, so I I really don't know what to expect. Um, I think with Avery or 3M I could, but I don't know how this is going to compare to that. But we're going to give it a try. So that is the accent film. Now the camera is just not going to do this justice, which kind of upsets me. But let's go ahead and take a look at what color the entire car is going to be. There it is. Satin, chrome, red. Let's take it out in the light and see what it looks like. In some good light. Ooh, I can't really see that coming through. It's gonna be cool with you. Oh, it's heavy. To lift one hand. So that's what the whole car is gonna be. Um, but that will be on another video. As far as this video goes, it, it's just the wing. It's just how to wrap that wing, that particular wing, in one piece. And if it has to be two pieces, so be it. It's got a pretty good bite line. I'm not too worried if I have to piece it right here. Um, it's whatever. I mean, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But that this video is about how to wrap that in one piece. Next thing I'm going to do is get started. I'm going to measure out what I need for the roof because I absolutely want the roof done in it. I'm going to cut that off and then see kind of what we got left over after doing that um, to make sure I have enough for the wing after that so let's get that cut off all right y'all so when i was out here getting ready um preparing to do the spoiler as we discussed another package showed up and it's a chrome vinyl that um i got to do this jeep with this customer coming up so uh 
Yeah, let's check this out. Oh my gosh, guys, this is freaking sweet. Honestly, I've never seen this stuff in person, so I'm super pumped to be um, looking at this. Look at that. Now this stuff, as you can see, it's shorter. This only comes in a four foot roll, so it's 12 inches shorter, which could be problematic. I'm carry it out in the sun so you can get a look at it against the car. It's gonna be so sick. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It does have a protective cap. That's pretty hard. Got air release. Hmm. Yes, but I guess we'll find out. But this stuff looks super cool. Oh yeah, just peel that back when it fell over. It's right over. It's a little tiny piece. So I got more, way more than enough. Um, also, the cool thing is, I plan on using some of that film, and I might do that. That is gonna be on another video, but I may even get to that before the Jeep. But I'm gonna do some of the light with that chrome it's gonna be nasty it's gonna be sweet all right guys so let's get to doing that wing all right guys as you can see behind me i've set up my uh kind of homemade light rig um it's nice it's portable it moves around so i can put this kind of anywhere i want in the shop because it's on wheels it's a clothes rack you got it for like 15 bucks i've cleaned this surface I washed it the other day and then I just cleaned it with alcohol, rubbed it real good with alcohol. Um, so I cut my I cut my piece of film out here. Now I measured here to there and it's no more than 12 inches. And because the piece kind of curves, you don't want a um, curved piece. You want to just cut it wide enough to go from here to here. I mean, you want it that wide. So what I did was, I assumed just an estimate of 12 inches. I mean, I measured this and gave it a little extra. So I put, cut a 12 inches, 12 inch piece from that side of the roll. So it's 60 inches and then 12 inch wide. So we're gonna first start by getting our tools together. Squeegee, I won't need a knife again, and some gloves, my heat gun's on the ground. So what we'll do is we'll take the backing off, and you see how you, you want it to be wide enough to just reach all that, and I'm going to have to probably curve it just a little bit. So, first time using tech wrap, y'all. Take the backing off. So it feels kind of thick, to be honest with you. See, there's problems that you run into sometimes. I mean, it's the nature of wrapping. But I realize I'm a little too high, so we're trying to level out the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lock it in right here a little bit. Now we will be pulling and heating and stretching around and everything. As you can see, I left the wing. I'm getting ready to do the whole car a different color, but I left the wing on the car. That way it's stable, so I can pull and it's not gonna it's not gonna pull off. Um, it'd be so hard to do this off the car. So it looks like I might need to move the film over this way because it's hanging off. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna have to get a little stretch anyway, so I think that will, I think that'll be fine. I've got like this much room over there that I can still see the wing. So now I've just double checked all my, all my areas. And I really have, I got enough film everywhere that I need it. Start by pulling this back. Make 
sure it doesn't stick to itself. Go about halfway here. And that gave me enough all the way over. So you can see what I need to do. The main important piece is getting the stretch that way it wraps around both both sides of the wing because the wing's just too too tall. We'll probably have to get some more over there, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to lock it in over here real quick. If I can get this center locked in pretty well, I'll be pretty happy. This stuff really reminds me of Vivid, um, which is kind of scary considering I've got a whole roll to do my car in. I don't think it's going to be particularly easy, but what the heck can I do now? So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to give it a little more stretch here, unfortunately. This stuff's so tacky, it's not fun to pull up at all. All right, guys. I hope you can hear me well um, and see kind of well enough. I mean, there's nothing. There's not a whole lot to it. When I go doing the other side, I'll try to put you a little closer. Um, again, the key. Well, I'll go ahead and give you a little tip. I should have taped around the edges to, to get so I didn't it didn't keep sticking down to the car. Anyway, the key is to get enough pull along this body line and I'll try to I'll try to video that a little better on this side but when you pull you want your tension to come straight across this line and you can see where your lines you can see where the lines and the tension of the film was going you want it to come straight across this body line and that's with any piece you ever wrap is that you want your tension to go across that body line because there's no crease and there's no recoil you can see this stuff here but I can easily pop that off, heat a little bit, and it's going to fall right in there. Also, I'm working the film from inside out. Those are just a few key takeaways. Like I said, when we come over to this side, I'm going to put the camera a little closer. I'm going to try to get a little closer so you can kind of see where I'm pulling that film across the body lines. Alright guys, so I've been squeegeeing the back side of this. And... It's coming along pretty good. Um, you probably won't be able to see much because just because the nature of the color and the the film and everything, but um, it is coming along pretty well. I was saying it kind of reminds me of Vivid, just in its how kind of hard the film is. Um, but I I think that it does respond to heat better than Vivid. Like it, it's responding to the heat better, if that makes sense. Um, hard to explain but anyway so right here I'm kind of beginning to see the tension there's there's tension what we're gonna need I'm at the bottom here but there's kind of tension at it. what I'm gonna have to do is make a relief cut into there to in order to let this fall down where it needs to be and this fall down where it needs to be I'm not gonna do it yet just because there's a slight little chance I might have to pull it up just because of I'm not worked in this stuff here, so I don't know if I'll have to pull it up yet. So I'm not going to make the cut yet. You don't want to make the cut until you know you're done. So I'm not doing that yet, but I just want to show you that um, sometimes you have to make relief cuts. And when we 
when I get to where I'm in need of doing that, when I get to the point of doing it, I will bring you back and show you that. But for now, I'm gonna continue to work this part in, which to me, this looks like it kind of chaotic to some, if you've never wrapped. Um, but to me, that's the end of the wing. I mean, I see pure beauty right here. This is the lines are going with the, the wing. Um, this, watch this. Pull this up, you can, you see how them lines can easily, it's gonna come down. I put a little heat on that and it'll suck right into there. It's gonna be fantastic. So to me, really, this looks great. Um, I might have to do something weird because I should have squeezed, I should have gotten those bubbles on this side. Like the body line's here, so I should have taken those bubbles this way, but I might have to see if I can't release them this way. So that could be a problem. That's why I might have to pull the bottom back up. Okay guys, for this side, I put you over here so you can kind of see how I'm gonna do this. So what I'll do is I'll pull the film to back to about here. Cause that's where I've got it laid in right there. I'll pull it back to here. I'm gonna put some heat in this area and we're just gonna pull that right across. So I don't usually do this, but just for the sake of the film, sake of the video where I am, I'm gonna heat it on this side. I'm heating it all in here, not on the edge. On there, we're heating it pretty good and I'll pull accordingly. So it turned out pretty good, except like on the bottom side, I like it, but up here I don't. I unfortunately uh, re pull it. I don't like doing that, but I'm gonna do it a little more this time. And as you can see, like you can see how much I'm having to put my body into pulling this film across. Like you really got to put a lot of muscle into it to be honest with you. So I started my squeegee across here and lock that in and then work that. Now I'll go to the underside. And kind of work it in similarly. Now don't let anyone tell you this is an easy panel to do one piece, but it's definitely doable. Okay guys, so the camera died, but I basically, I got all this worked in up to here. And since it's looking like the piece is pretty well gonna work. Oh, where's the line? Crease, or a bubble, I mean. Since the piece is looking pretty well like it's gonna work, I can, do my relief cuts now because I know the film isn't going to be need to, need to pull up again. Now, obviously, we'll over here. I still got some to do over here, but as far as here goes and stuff, I can start doing relief cuts and making this lay in a little more relaxed. Okay, guys, that's basically it. Um, might come over and mess that corner. Anyway, you can see it's laid down. It's all laid in, almost to the max. Almost absolutely tucked in as much as possible. So what I'll do now is go through here and where you see these areas here, not right there, it's not bad. But when you see these areas here, here, I'll go through start making my relief cuts and that's basically it guys like that's how you do the wing with that difficult of a curve i guess around it um like i said before 
well, I, I suspected before and now after using it, I can confirm. Avery or 3M would most certainly be easier to do this to do this wing in without the shadow of a doubt. Um, that's funny, this is shadow, black camo. <laughs> Punny, aren't I? Anyway, without the shadow of a doubt, those films would be easier. This film is thick, it's harder, it's super tacky. There's a lot working against you um, with this. Now, it's doable and it's doable one piece. But if you're a novice, I wouldn't do it like that. If you haven't wrapped a whole lot, if you've got extra film, give it a shot. You know, take my lesson, take this video, watch it over, and you'll see how to do it, and you'll be able to do it. If you can't seem to get it, I'm trying to get this light. If you can't seem to get it, use this line right here. Right along the bottom side of the bottom, right along the bottom side of there. No one's gonna see it. Do two pieces. It's, it, you'll do it in a similar way, except you won't need quite as much stretch. You won't have to pull and heat quite as much, but give it a shot. If you've got the extra film, give it a shot in the one piece. See if you can do it. I mean, challenge yourself, but you know, if you don't have a lot of film and you're not too confident in it, just do it in two pieces. Um, but as the title of this video says, that is how you do it in one piece. Now I'll get it cut out and we'll just get a final look at it. I'm going to give you a quick walk around. I post heated this the best that I can. Um, I've cut it as much as I'm going to as well, considering, like I said, I'm, I want to take it off. Um, and then put the film underneath it because I got to take it off anyway to wrap the trunk, but I wanted to leave it on to put it on. So I've take, I've post heated, I've placed it, I post heated it and cut as much excess as away as I can. Now, basically, it's just, you know, wait until I take it off to, to finish tucking it around and doing the final cuts. Um, but with that being said, I wanted to give it a little look with the, the wing now that um, a lot of the film is cut away from it. That way you can kind of see what it will look like when I take it off and finish it off. I absolutely love that black. That's going to be so cool when the whole roof is done. That You can kind of see it right there, what it's going to look like. Because you can't really see the excess. That's dope. But yeah, it's going to be so cool when this and the roof's done. That's how you do the wing. Um, just remember when you're stretching, pull it. It looks blue in the, in the, on the camera. When you're pulling, when you're heating, pull it and stretch it across this line. Get enough heat, that way your lines are going vertical with the film on both sides. There you have it, you'll, you'll get it you guys. Let me know how it turns out. Let me know if you guys do one. If you like the video, you want to see more how-tos, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you when we do the rest of the car.